Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Um, this was originally supposed to be a BoxyCharm and Allure Box unboxing, and if you don't know what those are, they are subscription services um, where they basically send you like a box of stuff each month, kind of like Ipsy and Glossy Box and all those other ones. Um, however, mine got a little derailed when I opened it up and I was the most, literally I was the most excited about, which was the Ofra Highlight. Um, it shows up. And as I'm sure you can imagine, let that focus for you for a second. Yeah, you see all those crumbles in there? Yeah, that's not what it's supposed to look like. So I decided before I do the unboxing to do a little DIY fun with you guys. So basically what I want to do is, I've you've seen it going around on Pinterest. And if you haven't, it looks like magic. Basically they take um, like a shattered... Um, highlighter or any kind of a compact even the eyeshadows and they have like this little technique where they put them all back together and they make them usable again and I thought what a better time to do like a little DIY type thing so I built up this really fun little stack right here I have like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen forty five I have 15 items stacked nice and tall so that way we can kind of hopefully see this party together without me spilling it on myself. Now, if I do, whoo, that's going to suck. But we're hopefully not going to do that. So basically what I did, let me grab my phone here, is I went on Pinterest and I grabbed the, like the two, what looked like the two most common ways to do this hack. And I kind of figured I would take and do like an amalgamation of those two different hacks. Um, if you're wondering what's on the back of my hand, by the way, I got to go to Ulta today. Ooh, ooh. So it's just swatches of every everything. And sorry, I just I was too excited to wipe them off. Apparently, I don't know. But anyways, back to this. I went on their website, on Pinterest website, and I found two different ways to do this. And I mean, it's all over the internet. I just did like a real quick, you know, find it type thing. And what I came up with is basically um, what they want you to do. And maybe this is just like the layman's version. I don't know. But the one that I found is basically you take the product, you mash it up like nice and fine, which it looks like the United States Postal Service did a wonderful job doing that for me already. Um, I'll probably mash it up a little bit more, but you mash it up. And then you take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and you kind of dab, dab it around so it's like not liquid but you know kind of goopy and then you take a paper towel and you press it out and then the concept is that after it dries it's um it's ready to go it's a good highlighter again so I figured we would give it a try so let's go okay the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this little tiny it's like a pencil brush um, for my eyeliner and I'm just gonna take the end of it here and I'm just gonna kind of go in and uh, mash up this I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I'm just going to kind of go in here and mash up all this uh, already pretty well mashed the uh, highlight, I guess is what we're going to call it, although right now it's just more like gem dust. But we're just going to kind of go in and get her all emulsified. Okay, I am going to say that we are good and mashed here. Um, let me tap off my little my little scientific tool here. Wow, that's really pretty. Woohoo! Um, but anyways, let you guys take a little look at that here without spilling it. I have it pretty, pretty finely mashed in there. You can pretty well see it's just crumbly, mm, nice grains of sand that I'm, again, praying don't just go poof all over the place because wow would that be unfortunate. So the next step, I guess, is to take the rubbing alcohol, which I'm just using the Meyer brand rubbing alcohol, nothing's fancy, but you just take some rubbing alcohol and you want to get, um, you're supposed to add it with like a dropper or something, but like, let's face it, I'm not that technical of a person. So my thought process here was I was going to take, put some of it into the lid like so, and again, praying that, uh, praying that we don't spill any. Just gonna take some, put it in the lid here. Boy, this is a great shot for you guys. And then I was going to take the lid, oh, that was close, and kind of pour drop by, did any of it even go in? Okay, so very little of it actually went in the cap. Let's try that again. Oh, I spilled it. Okay, try this again. Couple drops. Now you don't want to like oversaturate it, I guess. I don't I don't really know. I could be making that up, but I just poured a little bit, like I'd say 
like a half a teaspoon roughly. Poured that in there. I'm going to take my magical uh, blending wand stick. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to kind of stir that up. And again, according to the thing, you kind of want it to have like a, like a paste consistency. Um, as of right now, this is a little bit unnerving. Okay. Thinking I might need a little bit more because let me show you guys here. It's pretty clumpy still. Um, and that was again, after only about a half a teaspoon. And so I'm thinking I'm going to add just like a little bit more out of, again, out of the cap still. Um, and just kind of dump it in there. And I did about another, that time I did, um, about a half a teaspoon. But I think, again, I don't think it's so much about the amounts because every like compact and every shadow and everything like that's going to be different. But I think it's more about the consistency that you're going for. I've seen a couple of these hacks where people do them, um, with like, eyeshadow or not eyeshadow makeup removers that's what it was they do them with makeup removers and like because people were upset about like putting rubbing alcohol like on their faces or something and I was just like dude if you fix my compact I don't know that I can care like do you know that Ofra compacts are like $30 I don't don't get me wrong I contacted BoxyCharm and they're sending me another one in next month's thing but still I was just like your girl can't be messing around with this. These are, these are expensive. I don't, I don't want to be messing around with them. Okay, now I'm thinking here's going to be the deal because I've seen this part. This is the part where it all kind of differs. The one person I watched said they basically wanted it to be a paste. The next person, they were like, well, when it gets good and like goopy, like kind of like this, where it's just, it's kind of chunky, but like malleable, you know, when it gets kind of like that, go ahead and just spread it out. Now, see, I'm still thinking that that's not goopy enough. When in doubt, just add some more, right? Just a little left in the cap. Yeah. So now we've put in a full cap full. There's probably going to be somebody out there that's like, yeah, Paige, you were supposed to use like an eighth of that. Okay. I believe you. Da -da 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 Okay, I believe you. It's just like, isn't that Beetlejuice? Think. Okay, I believe. Okay, let's just. Okay, now I'm gonna call that pretty goopy enough. I think. I feel like there's no product in this Ofra highlight. Like I feel like it's just there's just not a lot. Okay, so we're gonna call that good and mixed up enough. It still looks pretty clumpy, but I think that's just the product. It's very good, goopy, kind of like that, which is what you're going for because essentially we are going to recompact it because we are just that thrifty today. Okay, so the next step here is to just kind of mash it down and make it, again, just kind of make it flat. We're gonna, this is where the paper towel is gonna come in handy. So we're just trying to make it like as flat as we can without like driving ourselves insane. Okay, so we're gonna call this good. We're gonna take and scrape this brushy off here. And this is kind of where I'm at so far. So I took everything and I kind of gooped her down nice and uh, nice and even, if you can even say that with a straight face, which I clearly can't. So the next step is to grab a chunk of paper towel. Um, brand and all that doesn't matter. I'm just grabbing what I found under my sink. Um, there was one hack though that said like, if you really love the, the texture-y pattern, whatever, um, to take and fold up like a prettier piece um one that has like pretty design like you can see this one kind of has the diamonds on it um that had nothing to do with me picking it but like I thought about it after I picked it and I was like not a bad design so they want you to kind of fold it up because again when you press this onto the compact you're going to actually apply some pressure and the concept is to kind of withdraw that excess you know liquid and the fact that I put in a total capful when I probably didn't need to um you're going to draw that back out, I'm assuming. Again, I have no idea. Um, before I do that, though, this does look kind of janky now that I'm looking at it again. I'm just going to kind of clean up this area here. Hang tight. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I got this cleaned up a little bit better here. As you can see, that you know the rim of it looks nicer a little bit. I figured I might as well take a little bit more pride in my work than whatever that was looking like. So I got that done. I am going to take my folded up thing right here and um, paper towel, not thing, paper towel. 
and clearly I'm really good at <laughs> teaching people how to do stuff. But next step, I guess, is to, you know what, I'm actually going to rip this in half because I got like, I got this really bad vision in my mind going on right now. So I'm just going to take this and now I just ripped it in half and I'm going to, how wide is that? Kind of gauge the width a little bit accordingly. Eh, we're going to, we're going to call that good, I think. We could put a little effort into it and like make sure the pretty part is on top. Look at me go the extra mile. I just don't want to stamp it and have it say like bounty. That would look really great. Okay, so we're going to take this pretty little diamond print here and we're going to put that face down onto the compact again in the hopes that like we're actually doing what we're supposed to do here. And you're supposed to just kind of apply some pressure how much pressure? I don't know. I'm assuming enough pressure to soak up the excess liquid, but not enough to like push through the compact or the table or anything like that. Like not Hulk style necessarily, but like, I mean, well my. Wow, that is actually soaking through quite a bit. I just pushed down a little and you guys can already see all that, that discoloration right there is obviously the liquid coming out of the compact. So maybe I uh, underjudge the situation. So we are going to, in fact, take that other half I ripped off and just kind of lay it down on top of that and <laughs> keep on a pushing. Okay, guys, so I've been pressing on this here for a couple of minutes, just really kind of working my way all along and around this rim here, making sure that I get everything I'm supposed to get out or hopefully. I'm hoping that when I lift this thing up that it's not just like, Womp womp, because you and I are going to see it for the first time together, so. Ha! Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of gently remove this paper towel. I guess I should do it toward you guys. Okay, so obviously we kind of, we probably figured that was going to happen. Oh! Okay! Oh! Okay, so the design isn't like insanely great or anything, but like who cares if you fix your $30 highlighter? Huh. I mean like I could see this working for so many things. I'm so excited. Let's um, hang tight one second. Kind of wanted to come in and show you the finished product. So obviously you've seen the compact portion, which I am going to leave open and kind of let it dry overnight just to like make sure that, you know, everything went good and everything. Oh, I hate it when I get an itch on my nose, especially when I'm working with highlighter. I probably look like Rudolph now. But anyways, you kind of go in here. I'm going to let her dry, but that's the end result. I did go in and I cleaned up the lid. That way it actually looked relatively self-respecting and uh yeah i'm gonna call this one a win here i mean i should probably picking up nothing crazy's going on and like look at that oh my gosh okay is there any light for you guys to see that let's just like kick this light over there oh look at that just come on is there a spot left on my hand for me to swatch for you guys oh my gosh can you just imagine it? Okay, everybody, I guess my camera just decided it was really tired. I mean, it is late at night, so it probably just needed a little siesta. Anyways, I did go ahead and I swatched those highlights for you. It's probably hard for you to... Oh, no, you don't. You can see them. Oh, God. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh, for highlights. Oh, I, I love a dramatic highlight. Anyways, you guys will see the rest of the unboxing of the BoxyCharm and the Allure box um, tomorrow as soon as I get them filmed. But for now, I just wanted to show you, like, this definitely is a great hack. Like, I don't care if you spend a dollar or a hundred dollars on a freaking compact. I don't like my stuff to go to waste, and this is a great hack. So I'm going to leave it open, let it air dry, but I'm calling this hack a big, like, thumbs up awesomeness because I have the dropsies. During the making of this film, there were countless items, shins, arms, harmed in the making of this video because I am a complete klutz and I drop everything. Literally right before I turned the camera back on just now, drop like 13 brushes. It's just like rain scattering brushes in here. Just <laughs> didn't even need any of them, but here they were sitting out on my vanity, out to play, I guess, and just pff, there they go. So that was fun. Anyways, I will be back with you guys another day. Um, if you like this, you like my channel, you like me, you like anything about this experience, uh -huh. like, subscribe, love, tweet, uh, Instagram. I don't know. I don't know what kids do these days. I'm just now trying to figure it all out, but you guys let me know. You guys comment. You guys like me, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! I need some chipstick, cause everybody needs...
some chipstick, I need some chipstick. Everybody needs chipstick. No bestie rather can get no love from me. Hanging off the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can get no love from me. Oh yeah, that's right. All of it. Oh yeah. Don't you be trying to take none of my old from Make sure we scrape the bottom a little, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm making this up as we go along. I feel like such a little... Ooh. <laughs> So fancy. <laughs> keep stirring, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You know, it's just like my grandma always said. You can always add more, but you can't take it back out, Paige. So maybe you should be careful with the glitter. I was like that kid that whenever I made anything, I was like, more sticker, more glitters, more sticker, more glitter. Like all the time. Like no matter what we were doing. It could have been like for a funeral and I was like, glitter. <laughs> 